Hello everyone. Today we will continue to look at the Red Hat System Administrator Certification Question Bank. Next, let's look at Question 10. Question 10, along with the previous Question 9, and Question 8 as well, are similar. So, Questions 8, 9, and 10. These three questions, in fact, are not related to the other questions. They don't have much connection, so you can just do them directly. For verification, you can verify each question directly. In subsequent questions, there's no way to go back and verify if these questions were correct. Therefore, after completing each question, you should verify it before moving on to the next one. For this question, our requirement is to search for a file. The requirement is very simple, just one sentence, right? It's just a search. For all files I mean, owned by a specific user, and then place a copy of them into the directory we specified. In simple terms, it means placing all the user's files into this directory. What you need to pay attention to here is, when copying, just pay attention to how the command is written. Here, we actually use two commands can achieve this. So the first command, the requirement for this directory actually, by default, it usually doesn't exist. So we first need to ensure that this directory exists. How do we ensure that? First, we use what method? The creation command? We first need to use the creation command. Let's take a look. If the directory doesn't exist, it will be created directly. If it does exist, it will report an error. This indicates that it didn't exist, and we have successfully created it. Once we have this directory, we can proceed to search for the file. To search for the file, we use the find command. This doesn't really test us on much content, just on one option of the find command. Regarding the user situation, normally we can just directly add the user. The username sure is the same, pay attention here. This must be written correctly. If it's not written correctly, you might get no results. Or the result you get might not be for this user. The username must be written correctly, it must be correct. After specifying this user, it's like this command. We first write half of it and stop here, because this command can actually already be executed. Ah, this command can actually already be executed. If executed here, what will it do directly? It can directly access our output all the files of this user, all files related to them. Ah, this question actually doesn't have any additional options. However, everyone should have a certain understanding of the options for FI here. Ah, you also need to have a certain understanding. If you're not very familiar with the options here, what problems might arise? For instance, if there are changes later on, what changes could this question undergo? Changing a username is actually quite simple, and generally, there isn't much of an issue with this. This doesn't really count as a change, just changing parameters doesn't really count as a variation. There might be some changes in the options. Currently, our option is just to search for files through the user, right? If later on, there are new requirements, like searching for files by time, or by name, then everyone needs to pay attention here. You must be able to adapt flexibly on your own. Ah, everyone needs to pay attention here. Uh, here, actually, what we mainly do is use this file, use this command, to output the input content to a corresponding directory. However, one thing to note is that this kind of output is directed to a directory, so we cannot use what? We cannot use redirection. Ah, some of you might want to use redirection, right? But actually, this won't work. Because with redirection, we are inputting our output result into a file, which is the content of redirection. But in reality, what should we do? We should be. We should take all these filtered or found files and directories, all types of files. To summarize, all types of files, we output them to a always. Well, actually, we can't say output here. If we say output, it means putting this information into a file. 
Please pay attention here. If the input result here, if you directly use redirection. Ah, the error message here actually doesn't matter. Why? Because the username we are talking about here, it says that this username actually doesn't exist, but that's not an issue. This doesn't matter. Uh, under normal circumstances, actually, during the exam, they will definitely give you what? They will definitely give you an existing user. It will definitely be an existing user. This user, however, is not currently in our system, so it doesn't affect anything here. But this doesn't affect the use of the command. Here, when you normally input, it's actually through our command. And here, it searches the entire uh, root directory, because what does our question require? The question requires, hey, to filter out all the files that belong to this user, watch mun, to filter out all the files that belong to this user. Here, actually, hey, it's about this. All the files that belong to it start from the root directory, because our root directory is the largest directory. Ah, under our root directory, there are more than a dozen smaller directories. Here, it's equivalent to starting from the root directory, which means searching the entire system. In this case, if it's actually an existing user, it might take a little bit of time. Why? Because it involves searching the entire system. Relatively speaking, what does it need? Huh? It indeed needs to traverse. What does it need to traverse? These files, directories, it needs to traverse the file directory once. So here, everyone needs to pay attention. What we have here is. In the case of direct searching, it is. If you use the mirrored image, what situation might occur? Right? When it finds the content, you input it into a file, meaning the information is there, it belongs to the information of this directory, it's copied out, but the actual file hasn't been transferred. Because what is the requirement of this task? The ultimate requirement is actually to output this content. To where? To output it into a directory. Ah, of course, to be precise, the task actually mentions making a copy of this file. It also means that it requires us to copy all this content at once. How do we operate here? We need to use our CP command. Ah, CPA, which means to copy all these files. And what are the files after CP? What do we need to add? We need to add our objects, two objects, which are the source file path and the destination file path. What needs to be written here is actually this bracket, it represents all the files we found earlier. Of course, we don't have them here because this user doesn't exist. In this exam, you can directly input the username required by the exam question and then input it into our. The root directory required by the question, byte files. That's all. Ah, oh, here it ends with a semicolon. The semicolon serves as the ending. Okay, here we execute it directly, and it still reports the same error because we don't have this user. But that's okay, it's not a problem. Ah, oh, this is one of our methods for searching files. So, how do we ultimately verify it? Well, through user command to check what? To see if there are any files generated in this directory, if there are any new files, um, if you can find it with find. Pay attention here, in an exam scenario, you will definitely be able to find some files. You can first use the find command to see which files are there. After checking, use the following command to copy them to this directory. Then, check if the files and directories match, whether they are consistent. If they are consistent, there's no problem. If they are not, check if there's any mistake in your command, right? Pay attention to this, as this is our method for finding files in historical questions. The main points to note here are, first, the issue of the username, and second, the format of the command when copying later, which is a bit. You need to pay a little attention to this, as it is one of our methods for finding files. All right, that's it for this question. If you need the complete question bank, you can leave a comment below to purchase the most stable question bank at the best price. That's all for today, everyone. Bye-bye.